Hey everyone, so after a successful day two of D23 Expo, we are here for the Oogie Boogie Bath tonight um, over at California Adventure. Um, yes, as you guys can see, it's very crowded. <laughs> it's almost six o'clock. Uh, fortunately, I, my plan was to get here a bit earlier, maybe try to avoid some of this crowd getting in, but um, just wasn't possible. Uh, it's pretty hard actually to plan um, everything you want to do at D23 Expo and come to the Oogie Boogie Bash all in one day. So I wanted to take advantage of D23 Expo as much as possible. But anyways, definitely very excited uh, for Oogie Boogie tonight. Uh, the last time I was here was in 2019 at the first ever Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, it was a lot of fun. Definitely worth coming at least once if you've never been. Uh, so yeah, once we get inside, uh, definitely gonna check out some more stuff. I uh, got a big bag ready, gonna get a lot of candy tonight, gonna hit all the treat trails, um, gonna hit Villains Grove, definitely this time gotta hit Villains Grove in 2019, that was one of the things I missed, uh, so definitely gonna do that. Uh, hoping to meet some rare characters tonight, and uh, hoping the weather holds up. Um, yesterday it rained like all day <laughs> um, while we were at D23 and into the night. The rain just didn't stop. So maybe today we'll be more lucky. Uh, so really hoping for no rain. Tonight's uh, D23, um, tonight's Oogie Boogie Bash is a D23 exclusive Oogie Boogie Bash today. Um, because of that, it is extremely crowded. Um, and also the ticket price for this one was definitely much more expensive than the normal um, prices in September for Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, unfortunately, Oogie Boogie Bash like sold out like immediately. It sold out like on the first day that it went on sale. It's pretty crazy. In 2019, it wasn't like that at all. Um, only the days like on Halloween day sold out like really fast. So yeah, um, gonna be a crowded night, um, but a fun night. So yeah, um, gonna get going in a bit. All right, first stop, uh, gotta hit the treat trails. Gotta get some candy to fill my Halloween bag at Oogie Boogie Bash. Uh, so similar to 2019 of each treat trail um, is definitely different. Uh, they have different characters. Uh, you can see pretty rare characters out here tonight. Um, the villains are on all the treat trails. So definitely excited to, um, to see some of them tonight. Alright, uh, managed to get an amazing spot for the Fright Really Fun Parade right in front of the Little Mermaid ride. Um, I saw this parade uh, once before in 2019. Definitely excited to see it again. Okay, and with the ride of the Headless Horseman, that means the parade is about to begin, yay! Uh, so every time uh, the parade starts, it always starts with the ride of the Headless Horseman and the story of Sleepy Hollow. Uh, so the parade uh, runs at Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, the parade route usually is from Paradise Gardens over by Paradise Pier and runs all the way down to um, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. 
Um, it's a very long parade route, and um, the parade is definitely a very slow-moving parade. Uh, so definitely it can take a long time to get to you depending on which side of the park you are planning to see it at. Um, yeah, but definitely uh, got really lucky with these seats today. Um, got here about uh, half an hour before the parade started. Um, I guess a lot of people were in the treat trails or um, meeting characters. Uh, so it was pretty easy to find a spot. Usually getting a spot for the parade, uh, you have to sit there like at least for 45 minutes or an hour. So got pretty lucky today. Um, yeah, so about the parade, um, the parade features a few different floats. Um, of course, the Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, it is Oogie Boogie Bash, so gotta have that. Gotta have Jack and Sally and Zero. Uh, there is a whole Haunted Mansion float um, with the um, Hitchhiking Ghost. Uh, Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog is in there. And the largest float uh, at the end of the parade, which features all the Disney villains uh, like Queen of Hearts, um, uh, Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame, um, Hades, Cruella de Vil, yeah definitely a pretty cool float and um, a lot of really cool choreography goes into this parade. Um, yeah so a little history about the Frightfully Fun Parade if you guys um, have never seen it or um, you've heard of it over at Disneyland. So Disneyland uh, used to have the Mickey's Not So Scary um, Halloween Party just like at Magic Kingdom. Um, but from the start of 2019's Halloween season, um, Mickey's Not So Scary moved over to California Adventure to be called Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, so pretty much similar concept. Uh, it is still, you know, a four kids Halloween party, um, still with tons of treat trails, tons of characters, the parade. Um, yeah, the difference is in the name, really. That's one of the biggest differences. And I do feel like Oogie Boogie Bash compared to Mickey's Not So Scary is just uh, just a slightly just slightly scarier than Mickey's Not So Scary, as uh, Oogie Boogie is a little bit creepy. <laughs> um, so they do have that as well as in the front of California Adventure, they do have a headless horseman statue which um, has a lot of fog around it and could be a little scary for our little ones. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Frightfully Fun Parade um, ran at Disneyland Resort um, from New Orleans all the way down Main Street um, from 2016 to 2018 and then got moved over in 2019 uh, for Oogie Boogie Bash. Uh, so now the Disneyland Resort Park um, doesn't have a Halloween party, but they do have the Halloween decorations as well. Uh, Disneyland Resort does have um, Halloween screams. Um, with projections uh, on weekdays and with projections and fireworks on weekends. So you don't have to buy um, a Halloween party ticket to actually see Halloween screams. So that's pretty cool. And now you can see um, Disneyland's uh, Halloween fireworks um, without having to purchase this um, expensive and uh, really hard to buy ticket. After the parade, uh, we headed on over to Villains Grove, um, the last main event of our night. Uh, we had decided to actually watch the second uh, viewing of the parade, which started um, around 10 o'clock. So we were kind of in a rush to get over here before Oogie Boogie Bash was over at 11 p.m. Um, yeah, but thankfully uh, the line was pretty long over at Villains Grove, so even though um, we didn't get in until after 11. We are already in line um, about 10.45, so they let us in still. Uh, so Villains Grove is actually a walk through the Redwood Trail um, during the normal time of day and not during Halloween time. Um, it's a really nice walking trail. Um, but yeah, during Oogie Boogie Bash, it turns into Villains Grove. Uh, so Villains Grove features a lot of um, special effects and lighting. Um, it does look uh, slightly creepy like it's not scary like Halloween Horror Nights or anything like that No one's coming out and like jump scaring you and there's no you know blood or gore or any of that kind of stuff It's just a slightly creepy uh, walk through the redwoods at night um, 
and each area is themed specifically to a certain villain. For example, um, Queen of Hearts, we were seeing like the the trees and roses like turn from white to red. Um, we did see, uh, we are seeing the um, Lion King scar area where you can see the silhouettes of the hyenas um, for the uh, Be Prepared song inside Lion King. Um, yeah, so things like that. Uh, it's a pretty cool walkthrough if um, you're into that. Though I do think for little ones it could be a little bit scary for them. Um, so possibly for your bigger kids or teenagers they might enjoy this a bit more. after 11 now so we are on our way out such a fun event i definitely recommend coming to oogie boogie bash if you can we're attending the 23 exclusive oogie boogie bash um on saturday we did also receive a free poster at the end of the night so i'm gonna open up the poster so you guys can see it all right so how the poster has been rolled up in that tube for so long that to um be able to flatten it out, I've had to stick um, some heavy stuff on the sides so you guys can see it now. So on the top we have the D23, the official Disney fan club. And this is what the poster looks like that we all received on our way out of the Halloween party um, this past Saturday. We have Oogie Boogie and his wheel, got his uh, magic dice in his hand, and the whole, th it's actually a pretty big poster. And on the bottom, we have the Oogie Boogie Bash, a Disney Halloween party. Yeah, this year, the parties um, for Oogie Boogie Bash sold out so fast. Like, I couldn't believe it. Uh, just to get this one was, was pretty difficult. I was in a virtual queue um, for like two hours, almost three hours, to get this ticket for this Halloween party this year. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with that and why they sold out on day one, uh, because other years it was not that difficult to get the party tickets, except if you wanted to go like on Halloween day, for example. That's pretty crazy. All right, well, it was a great D23 weekend and a great trip uh, to Disneyland Resort as well as Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, yeah, so definitely, uh, I definitely recommend Oogie Boogie Bash um, to you guys if you haven't been before. It's a lot of fun. It's very different than Mickey's Not So Scary at Magic Kingdom. So uh, if you've been over to Magic Kingdoms, you should fly over to California and check out Oogie Boogie Bash next year. I definitely will be back next year. I'm going to try to get tickets as soon as it goes on sale. Um, yeah, so thank you everyone for watching and see you guys next week. Bye!